it's uh it's the other piece of it and uh you can see there how the two go together the one on the right uh-huh i see the one cent look at it because i think it's a rains guide um big round one and uh, if so it's the first that i've ever dug show you what I found got me a button nice flatty uh, hadn't cleaned it up yet not sure you know a lot of times these buttons have uh, makers marks and whatnot on the the, uh, the backs of them um, but I'll check it out and uh, you know if it's got something cool I'll come back in here and show it to you but um, pretty awesome on the board with a button all right, we wanted to share this uh, this piece here with you. It's something that Ace found and uh, came up lead on the Equinox uh, 600. And uh, it's kind of interesting because it's definitely lead. It's got the weight of that. You can see these letters on it, but the closer we looked at it, it's almost like someone needed something and they took this possible nameplate off of whatever it maybe came off of and smashed it down. I know it's kind of hard to see, but see right here where my thumb is, it's been hammered down, hammered down over that lettering. And uh, you can see the hole is kind of a crude uh, make of a hole there too. So it looks like something that someone fabricated into uh, whatever they needed it for. You know, we're not sure what it said, but a kind of a neat piece that someone, someone made um, from something else, which uh, is pretty cool find. Good job, man. Thank you. Awesome. Well, just got me another cool little find. Oh, so I think he's laying right there. This little garter snap. Hey, that was a tough little signal to pull out of there. But, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think it still may have some fabric or something up in there. Pretty awesome. See what you got. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Always cool to find them. Yeah, I'd say it's horse tack. Yeah. Off a bridle or saddle or something. Good job, man. Yeah, lead thing I found was right on the other side of these. These weeds. Tall weeds. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Just had a pretty good signal here on my uh, AT Pro, and uh, I've got it kind of popped out. I didn't really take a look at it because I think it's a Rain's Guide, um, big round one, and uh, if so, it's the first that I've ever dug. Um, oh no, it's a Rain's Guide, but it's not. It's not a big round one. It's like a different, different style. Oh wow! Oh man! Oh, that's awesome. That thing is beautiful. Oh, now that's cool. So cool. Yeah. I found pieces kind of like this before, but never with all of it attached there. Um, and not this ball type style up here. Oh, man, that is awesome. Very, very cool. I might get it cleaned up. It's got a little shine on it. I want to take a look at that. Be back in a sec. Well, as you can see, it didn't clean up much. Um, it does have a little shine in there on it, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this thing's beautiful. Oh, this is very cool. Here, I thought it was a round one smashed in, but. Uh, it's not. It is super cool. Awesome. Awesome find. I just found a really interesting piece here. I want to show it to you because I have no idea what it is. Um, you can see it's uh, got this round piece on here where this metal is connected to it. And then it goes down with these two strands here. 
and they're kind of threaded through this little hole here. It, it almost reminds you of uh, of cufflinks, but I'm not sure. It's super like you can see how uh, easy this stuff is to to move. Um, but I don't know what this is. Um, I mean, it's maybe. It's just some kind of really thin metal, uh, maybe thin copper, you know, I don't know. But it, you can see this little ring on it here that I think I just broke. Um, but yeah, it's, it kind of reminds you of a, of a cufflink. Maybe held something together, but really cool find. Um, if you know what it is, by all means, let me know. It's pretty cool. All right, well, I just swung over a spot, got a good signal, and uh, Ace happened to be standing here. He's swinging it with the 600, and you can see you get a pretty solid 11, solid 12, and that's his Tomback number. And even though it's my signal, I am gonna dig it. He says Tom back. <coughs> the last time we did this, I did not believe him. <clears throat> but this time we're gonna have footage. Tom back button, but it's something. I don't know. Can't tell. If we get it cleaned up, tell what it is, we'll come back in. Well, I got another signal right beside the thing we thought was maybe a tomback button we couldn't tell what it was and it's a uh, it's the other piece of it and uh, you can see there how the two go together the one on the right is the first one I dug that you saw and this other one on the left we just picked up not sure what it is but the pieces go together right there I'm just not quite sure I think they go together right there anyway kind of looks like the face of a dragon or we're not sure Never seen anything like that before. Pretty cool, nonetheless. Oh, I am just so pumped up now. Had a great signal. Thought for sure it was going to be a can. Pop my plug and pinpoint it, and you can see it down there. Look. Look at that. That's a crotal. Oh, baby. Uh, uh, come on out of there little fella oh he's busted oh yeah oh but the top is still in there I can maybe glue it sweet 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 awesome I'm gonna get this cleaned up and then I'll show it to you oh man awesome 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 be right back all right, cleaned it up, and uh, it is, you can see it there, number five. And uh, I'm hoping that piece in there will come out all right. I can maybe glue it. We'll see. Either way, always happy with a crotal. I think that's the first number five. I think I got a number four as well, and, of course, the big number 12. But, uh, oh, man, that's exciting. Very exciting. Just popped a plug. I think it's got two signals in it. First one came up with the plug. You can see there it's another uh, garter clip. Pretty cool. The other one is still in the hole. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to be able to find it. 
it seemed like it was kind of a deep signal uh, I might have to get my shovel in there but we'll try it here no, I'm picking it up Looks like a, maybe a modern, modern bullet. Oh, that one mushroomed out nice. In there with that clip. All right, we're gonna keep on going. Well, sweat be on my finger. I spit them things off. Kind of give him a shotgun, a spat. Anyway, and then I just popped a plug and uh, pinpointer's going off, pop a little dirt, and got me a nice little piece of roundness. Let's check this thing out together. I don't have any idea what it is. I'm hoping it's an Indian head penny. It's about that size, but I haven't looked at it yet. So let's see what this is. All right. Stinking sweat bees. You can see right there. Let's see what it is. It could be a button. But I don't think so. I'm not sure. It's not wiping real clean. Look, see right there? Sweat bee. He's not taking a hint. All right, I need to set this down. Let me get some spray on this. Sorry about that. Some shoddy camera work. Oh, uh -huh. I see the one scent. It's definitely an Indian. I'm not sure if I can get the front cleaned up or not. Um, I can start to see it come through there. <laughs> Stinking things. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, I see it now. I see it now. Oh, I think I can see the date. Oh, let me see. Sorry. Bad camera work again. I believe it's 1800s. Not sure. I think I saw it say 1874. Let me try to clean it up a little bit and uh, come back in. All right, little update here. First off, I killed the sweat bee. Uh, sorry for all you uh, sweat bee lovers. Um, but clean it up a good little bit. You can see the one scent there. And uh, and it's an 1870 something. It's my oldest uh, Indian. Uh, I can't see what that last number is. I thought when it was wet, I could see a four, but you can definitely see the one and the uh, eight and the seven. But totally, totally excited to find this. This little hill that I'm hunting, we have gone over and over it again. And uh, I knew, I knew there'd be a coin up here. So there it is. Pretty sweet.